that sees him rise. Alleluia. To his throne above the skies. Alleluia. Christ the Lamb for sinners Alleluia. Enters now the highest heaven. Alleluia. Lord, thou parted from our sight. Alleluia. Far above the starry height. May never rise. Alleluia. Seeking thee above the skies. Alleluia. God has gone up with a shout, the Lord with the sound of a trumpet. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Grace, mercy, and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ be with you. And also with you. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ, for 40 days we have been celebrating with joyful hearts the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ, his bursting from the tomb, and his defeat of the power of sin and death. He appeared to his disciples many times and told them about the kingdom of God. Today, we recall how he left this earth and returned to his Father, ascending into heaven to take his throne over all dominions and powers, trusting in his reign over all creation and submitting to his kingly yet loving rule. Let us hear the story of his parting. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While staying with them, Jesus ordered them not to leave Jerusalem, but to wait there for the promise of the Father. This, he said, is what you have heard from me. For John baptized with water, but you will be baptized with the Holy Spirit not many days from now. So when they had come together, they asked him, Lord, is this the time when you will restore the kingdom to Israel? He replied, It is not for you to know the times or periods that the Father has set by his own authority, but you will receive power when the Holy Spirit has come upon you, and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, in all Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. When he had said this, as they were watching, he was lifted up, and a cloud took him out of their sight. While he was going, and they were gazing up towards heaven, suddenly two men in white robes stood by them. They said, Men of Galilee, why do you stand looking up towards heaven? This Jesus, who has been taken up from you into heaven, will come in the same way as you saw him go into heaven. Alleluia! Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia! Seeing we have a great high priest who has passed through the heaven, Jesus the Son of God, let us offer him the praise worthy of his name. Glory to God, God in the highest, and peace to his people on earth. Lord God, heavenly King, almighty God and Father, we worship you, we give you thanks, we praise you for your glory. Lord Jesus Christ, only Son of the Father, Lord God, Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world, have mercy on us. You are seated at the right hand of the Father. Receive our prayer. For you alone are the Holy One. You alone are the Lord. 
you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray that our risen and ascended Lord will lead us to eternal life. Risen Christ, you have raised our human nature to the throne of heaven. Help us to seek and serve you, that we may join you at the Father's side where you reign with the Spirit in glory. Now and forever. Amen. Amen. Alleluia, alleluia. Go and make disciples of all nations, says the Lord. Remember, I am with you always to the end of the age. Alleluia. Alleluia. Hear the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ according to Luke. Glory, Glory to, to you, you o Lord. Lord. Then he said to them, These are my words that I spoke to you while I was still with you, that everything written about me in the law of Moses, the prophets and the Psalms must be fulfilled. Then he opened their minds to understand the scriptures, and he said to them, Thus it is written, that the Messiah is to suffer and to rise from the dead on the third day, and that repentance and forgiveness of sins is to be proclaimed in his name to all nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses of these things. And see, I am sending upon you what my father promised, so stay here in the city until you have been clothed with power from on high. Then he led them out, as far as Bethany, and lifting up his hands he blessed them. While he was blessing them, he withdrew from them, and was carried up into heaven. And they worshipped him, and returned to Jerusalem with great joy, and they were continually in the temple, blessing God. This is the Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, O Christ. May I speak in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. It is Luke, uniquely, who makes something of the Ascension, placing it firmly 40 days after Easter. He writes about it both at the end of his Gospel and at the beginning of his sequel, The Acts of the Apostles, and we have heard both accounts today. In John's Gospel, Jesus speaks of ascending to my Father as he talks to Mary Magdalene outside the tomb on Easter Day. This ascending is before he subsequently appears to his disciples as the risen Christ on several occasions. Clearly, during the time between Easter <clears throat> and the Ascension, Jesus moves freely between earth and heaven. He appears and disappears again sometimes moving through locked doors. Our minds struggle to imagine how Jesus could have been moving between earth and heaven during this time. Scientists now tell us that our view of the world can be multi-dimensional, a concept perhaps best imagined in children's literature. C.S. Lewis invented the magical kingdom of Narnia in The Lion, the Witch and the Wardrobe. Entering Narnia through the wardrobe, time, place and events were completely out of kilter with the normal events of our three-dimensional world. While literature can stretch our minds, it cannot describe the reality of God's kingdom. But it is Luke's account of the Ascension that seems to bring to a definite close the series of visitations that Jesus made to his followers. The disciples were to be witnesses to what they had seen and learnt from Jesus. And fortunately for us, from that time to this, there have always been witnesses to the faith that Jesus professed. Now it is our turn, and the Ascension is the wake-up call. There is a certain ambivalence about the Ascension. For Jesus, it is about homecoming, coming home to his rightful place at God's right hand the place where God's power was located. For the disciples, it marked the beginning of their ministry. While Jesus was with them, they were under instruction from him. Now Jesus had left them. They were on their own, or at least they probably felt they were until the coming of the Holy Spirit at Pentecost. After the ascension, the 11 apostles returned to the upper room in a kind of lockdown 
doors locked in fear for their own lives. Together with certain women, they were constantly devoting themselves to prayer. They were preparing for ministry. Their model for preparing for ministry was one that we try to emulate today, but often fail to do. They prayed together in fellowship, not singly or briefly. They were constantly praying together. They made sure that their team was up to strength. Twelve was significant. It was the number of the tribes of Israel. So Peter made them choose one of their number to be the replacement for Judas Iscariot. The apostles were to lead the new, renewed Israel. At the Ascension, God uses his riskiest strategy yet. God leaves the responsibility of proclaiming the gospel to Jesus' disciples, that's us, through the guidance of the Holy Spirit. It is a scary moment. The future of the church is in our hands. It's the time when the primary task of mission becomes clear to us. It is both a parting and a time when we feel our inadequacies. Jesus is no longer here in person to teach or heal, to touch or challenge. As Jesus finally ascends to his Father, he hands over the mission of the church to his disciples of every age. Using the image of a competitor in a relay race, we have to make sure there are others to whom we can hand on the baton. Amen. Let us declare our faith in the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. Christ, Christ died, died for our sins. In, in accordance, accordance with the scriptures, scriptures. he was, was buried. buried. He was, he was raised, raised to life on, on the third day, day. In, in accordance with, with the scriptures. scriptures. Afterwards, he, he appeared, appeared to his followers and to all the apostles. apostles. This, this we have received and this we believe. Amen. Amen. Let us join our prayers with those of our Saviour Christ, seeking the Father's blessing and the gifts of the Spirit. Jesus Christ, great High Priest, living forever to intercede for us, pray for the Church, your broken body in the world, that we may find ways to bring your good news to those who do not know you. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously hear us. us. Jesus Christ, King of Righteousness, enthroned at the right hand of the Majesty on high, pray for the world and make it subject to your gentle rule. Give wisdom to all those seeking ways to overcome this global pandemic. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Jesus Christ, Son of Man, drawing humanity into the life of God, Pray for your brothers and sisters in need, distress or sorrow, especially those who are suffering from COVID-19 and those who are mourning the death of loved ones. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. Jesus Christ, pioneer of our salvation, bringing us to glory through your death and resurrection, surround with your saints and angels those who have died trusting your promises. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear us. us. Jesus Christ, Lord over all things, ascended far above the heavens and filling the universe, pray for us who receive the gifts you give us for work in your service. May we hear your promptings to us. Lord, hear us. Lord, Lord graciously, graciously hear, hear us. us. Jesus Christ, Keep the Church in the unity of the Spirit and in the bond of peace and bring the whole created order to worship at your feet for you are alive and reign with the Father and the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Amen. Jesus says, Peace I leave with you, my peace I give to you. If you love me, rejoice, because I am going to the Father. Alleluia. The peace of the Lord be always with you. And also with you. Peace be with you.
Blessed be God, by whose grace creation is renewed, by whose love heaven is opened, by whose mercy we offer our sacrifice of praise. Blessed, Blessed be God forever. The Lord is here. His Spirit is with us. Lift up your hearts. We lift them to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right to give thanks and praise. It is indeed right and good, our duty and our joy, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Jesus Christ, the King of glory. Born of a woman, he came to the rescue of our human race. Dying for us, he trampled death and conquered sin. By the glory of his resurrection, he opened the way to it, life eternal, and by his ascension gave us the sure hope that where he is, we may also be. Therefore, the universe resounds with Easter joy, and with the choirs of angels we sing forever to your praise. Holy, 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 holy Lord, God of, of power and might, and might Heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. We praise and bless you, loving Father, through Jesus Christ our Lord. And as we obey his command, send your Holy Spirit that broken bread and wine outpoured may be for us the body and blood of your dear Son. On the night before he died, he had supper with his friends, and taking bread, he praised you. He broke the bread, gave it to them, and said, Take, eat, this is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. When supper was ended, he took the cup of wine. Again he praised you, gave it to them, and said, Drink this, all of you. This is my blood of the new covenant, which is shed for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. So, Father, we remember all that Jesus did. In him we plead with confidence his sacrifice made once for all upon the cross. Bringing before you the bread of life and cup of salvation, we proclaim his death and resurrection until he comes in glory. Great is the mystery of faith. Christ, Christ has died, died. Christ, Christ is risen, risen. Christ, Christ will come, come again. again. Lord of all life, help us to work together for that day when your kingdom comes and justice and mercy will be seen in all the earth. Look with favour on your people, gather us in your loving arms, and bring us with all the saints to feast at your table in heaven. Through Christ and with Christ and in Christ, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all honour and glory are yours, O loving Father, for ever and ever. Amen. Amen. Looking for the coming of his kingdom as our Saviour has taught us, so we pray. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Lord, we died with you on the cross. Now we are raised to new life. We were buried in your tomb. Now we share in your resurrection. Live in us that we may live in you. I heard the voice of a great multitude crying, Alleluia! The Lord our God has entered into his kingdom. Blessed are those who are called to the Supper of the Lamb. Alleluia. The Body of Christ. David, the Body of Christ. Amen.
the blood of Christ. The blood of Christ. Amen. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. Jesus, remember me when you come into your kingdom. God our Father, you have raised our humanity in Christ and have fed us with the bread of heaven. Mercifully grant that nourished with such spiritual blessings, we may set our hearts in the heavenly places through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. We thank you, Lord, that you have fed us in this sacrament, united us with Christ and given us a foretaste of the heavenly banquet prepared for all peoples. Amen. Amen. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Then the disciples returned to, Jer to Jerusalem from the mount called Olivet, which is near Jerusalem, a Sabbath day's journey away. When they had entered the city, they went to the room upstairs where they were staying. They were constantly devoting themselves to prayer, together with certain women, including Mary, the mother of Jesus, as well as his brothers. As we wait in silence, make, make us, us ready, ready for, for your, your coming spirit. spirit. As we listen to your word, make, make us, us ready, ready for, for your coming spirit. spirit. As we worship you in majesty, make, make us, us ready, ready for, for your, your coming spirit. spirit. As we long for your refreshing, make, make us, us ready, ready for, for your coming spirit. spirit. As we long for your renewing, make, make us, us ready, ready for, for your, your coming spirit. spirit. As we long for your equipping, make, make us ready, ready for your coming spirit. As we long for your empowering, make, make us, us ready for your coming spirit. May the Spirit who set the church on fire until the upon the day of Pentecost bring the world alive with the love of the risen Christ and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be amongst you and remain with you always. Amen. Amen. Waiting expectantly for the promised Holy Spirit, go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. <laughs>